The Missouri Highway Patrol is now in charge of security in Ferguson. That change made today by the order of the governor of Missouri. The captain in charge is black and from the area. Tonight, things look noticeably different on the streets. Hundreds of people are out holding signs and chanting as drivers honk their horns in support. Much more peaceful than in past nights. In some cases, demonstrators have been seen shaking hands with state troopers. Captain Ron Johnson, the new man in charge, says he plans to keep armored vehicles away from the scene and told his officers not to bring their gas masks. All of this comes in the wake of President Obama taking protesters and police to task for the violence of the last few days. There is never an excuse for violence against police or for those who would use this tragedy as a cover for vandalism or looting. There's also no excuse for police to use excessive force against peaceful protests or to throw protesters in jail for lawfully exercising their First Amendment rights. Parents of Michael Brown have asked the Department of Justice to oversee a second autopsy on their son. And the Ferguson Police Department continues to take heat for not releasing the name of the officer who shot Brown. It says it won't, mainly for the safety of that officer and his family. As we mentioned, people marched here in North Texas tonight too, not just on the same scale as in other places. Fox Horse Phil Alvarado joins us now from downtown Dallas. Hi, Clarice. Uh, Clyde Warren Park is pretty active as it is most evenings, but today it was also one of three areas in uh, Dallas where people met for a moment of silence over their concerns over what's going on in Ferguson and the death of Michael Brown. Uh, now, there was also another gathering at uh, City Hall, but uh, the biggest was at Continental Bridge. There have been peaceful vigils and moments of silence in Dallas and other parts of North Texas. So I feel extremely, extremely concerned for the safety of the citizens of Missouri, of um, the people of my concern for Michael Brown's family, sadness for the, lot, the um, fact that his life was taken away. About 60 people gathered at the Continental Bridge west of downtown Dallas. Although some may feel differently about how Michael Brown died, everyone feels it's time for change. The public officials who are responsible for them, the ones who make the laws, the ones that the police work for, they need to step in and take account. There's a big push to keep the gatherings peaceful. People wore red shirts or red armbands as a sign of solidarity. At Dallas City Hall, there was a smaller gathering, but the feelings and emotions were every bit as high. There are folks who truly want to make some change, but also you have opportunists that will take advantage of the moment. But that's not the important piece. The important piece is the message that each of the people protesting peacefully. This has been happening far too often in our communities all across this country. And it's really time for something to change. And if we don't get out and make our voices heard, then nothing is going to change. In North Texas, the word was spread by social media, inviting people to meet and show support and solidarity for the people in Ferguson and as a way to show respect for Michael Brown and his family. As a father myself, I've talked with my son about how he needs to deal with any interaction he may have with police. And the fact that I have to do that. Though it might not affect you directly because it's not your family, it does affect you because it affects the way the world sees you and the way some of the law enforcement sees you. People who came out today say that they will remain peaceful, but no longer will they remain silent. And Clarice? Bill, peaceful protests here in North Texas. How does some of the people that you've talked to tonight feel about what they've seen in Ferguson? Well, some of the people that we talked with said that they are indeed disturbed by some of the images that they see coming out of Ferguson, but they believe that you know the great majority of people uh, who are protesting are doing it peacefully, and they're encouraged by the different way that the things are being handled there tonight. Uh, it has gotten uh, media attention nationally, uh, but folks tell us that they're glad that now people across the country are also uh, getting their attention and getting involved. Phil Alvarado live tonight in downtown Dallas. Thanks.